pray. And the other day, the Bible said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. You are saying tonight, Father, we are gathered. Let us feel your presence. Let us feel your spirit. Lift up, Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your Wherever voice. You Wherever you from are. The back, from the back. To the front. To the front. Hey. Hey. I see, I see the, Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit filling up, filling up the, auditorium. the auditorium. I see, I see the, Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit overshadowing yes, Lord. Somebody, somebody right now. Right now lift up your voice. Lift your voice. Activate, Activate the, presence the presence of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Right, now. Right, now. right 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 now. Pray. Pray. Go ahead and pray. Where are you? I want to feel your prayer. Paruza Pariaka. The presence of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is filling uh, the empty grave temple. I see the Spirit of the Lord coming down upon somebody. In the Open name of ma- Jesus. In the name of the oh, clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Still, we are praying in Genesis chapter 1. And now, I am reading from the verse number three. The Bible says that, and then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Oh, I decree and declare that the light of the Lord will shine in your life. Amen. Oh, at this come, the light of the Lord Jesus. will shine in your life. Yes. Shout, I believe. I believe. So, the, the light here in this scripture I believe is the game changer. Oh, why? Because the light is what gave visibility to matter. Oh, let me tell you something. See, no matter the matter of your matter, eh? When the light of the Lord shows up in your life, your matter will matter. Amen. Oh, your Jesus. matter will matter. Yes. Let me tell you one thing. See, without light, there is no visibility. Without light, there is no direction. Without light, there is no vision. Oh, listen. I know you came here to this camp with a theme, I can see it coming. But without the light, you cannot see anything coming. That is why you have to activate the light of the Lord in your life. The Bible said that, and the Lord said, God said, let there be light, and there was light. And my Bible tells me that, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. And so you are going to make a declaration tonight. Hey, and release the light yes. of God in your life. Yes. You are going to say that the light go ahead of you. Yes. What is our prayer topic number two? Our prayer topic number two is that, oh Lord, let your light be made manifested in our lives, in this camp. Let your light shine. In our life, in this camp, is it a good prayer topic to pray? Yes. Right hands lifted, right hands lifted. Shout, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Tonight, 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 tonight. My Bible, my Bible has, told has told me that you declare, that you declare the, light, the light and it came, and it came into, existence. into existence. And so then, and so then my Bible also tells me Lord, that I should decree a thing. And it shall be established. Father, oh God, without the light, I will not see what is coming. And so then, therefore, oh Lord, let your light shine bright in my life so that I can see what is coming towards me. Towards me. Lift up your voice and pray.
come with an expectation, with an expectation. and if there is an expectation yes, Lord, in your heart, in your heart it means you, miss. you want to see want to something see. coming yes, Lord. the reason why you have an expectation yes, Lord. the reason why the reason why you have an expectation, you have an expectation. it means it you, need you need something, something to, come to come to pass, to pass in, your life. in your life and that means, and that means there, is darkness there is darkness somewhere, somewhere in, the in the picture that is why, that is why you have to declare, have to declare light, 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 pray, pray in the name of Jesus, go ahead, go ahead, are you lifting your voice and clapping your hands in prayer, there is a thing that is preventing you from seeing your miracle from coming, there is a darkness from the pit of hell, I can feel your fire tonight. I can feel your prayer. Are you lifting your voice tonight? Anything that is blocking your vision, anything that is standing in your way, anything that has become like a Goliath that stands in your way, that brings darkness, that brings limitation, that stops you, even when you want to rise to see it coming, lift your voice. A place of darkness is a place of limitation. Are you lifting prayer tonight by prayer and the efficacy of the blood and the potency of the altar of our father we come out of anything that will limit us anything that will prevent us from seeing it coming WMG lift your fire lift your voice lift your voice, lift your voice. Lift your voice. wherever you are wherever you from are the back, from the back to the front to the front the Bible says the Bible in says, the book of John, in the book of John, the light, the light shined in the darkness, in the darkness, and darkness, and darkness comprehended, comprehended the Lord. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, activate, activate the light, the light of the Lord, of the Lord in your life, in your life, you activate, you activate the light, the light of the Lord, of the Lord in your life, in your life. You are praying, you are praying for illumination, for illumination. You are praying, you are praying for vision, for vision. You are praying, you are praying for visibility, for visibility. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Lift your voice. I can feel some people praying to Padosh Shataya. Renda Dosha. Beloved, lift up your voice. We are praying uh, and we are saying, Father, uh, anything that blocks uh, the light of the Lord to enter uh, into my life tonight, uh, I shall clap my hands uh, as I lift up my voice. Uh, I am the Bado Shada. Uh, are you praying? Uh, I am not feeling uh, a move uh, and a shaker. Uh, I'm praying. Uh, we need a fire. Uh, we need the light of the Lord. Uh, and the Bible says, uh, and the, the darkness uh, comprehended the Lord. Uh, lick up Bado uh, Shada. Uh, what are we saying? Uh, we are saying, God. Uh, and I tell uh, that blocks uh, the light of the Lord uh, over my life. Uh, I've found tonight. Uh, let that be arrested. Uh, I am the Lord of Shadaya. Ramano Shapaya. He called me Kapaya. In the name of Jesus. Listen, you need the light, too. You need the light. That trouble in your life is a darkness. Listen, that addiction is the darkness. That pain you are going through. Is the darkness that is why you need the light of the Lord to shine in your life? Let me tell you this story at a point in my life, darkness overshadowed me that I thought everything that I was doing was good. That even if you advise me, no matter what, I will not listen. I am doing it my way. I didn't know that it was darkness that had overshadowed me. I was doing this wayward. Things were going bad for me, but in some way, somehow, darkness can overshadow you to the extent that you would think it is normal. That is why you need the light of the Lord in your life. Listen, I stood up one day on the altar and I prayed to God. I said, God, lift me up. Shine your face towards me and make me a great person. In other words, I was invoking, I was invoking the light of the Lord in my life. And today it is a testimony for you seeing me 
right in front of you, WMG Camp 2023, opening the night. It means the light of the Lord has shone in my life. That is why you need the light. The Bible said that and the light shined in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. We are still going to pray for the light to shine in our Somebody lift up your voice and say, God, God. let your light shine, shine in my life. In my life. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Say, oh God. Oh God. Father. 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 Tonight. 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 By the reason, by the reason of the order of, the of my father. Of my father. The apostle general. The apostle general. Let your light. Your light. Let your light. Let your light. Shine, shine bright, bright shine, shine bright, bright in my life in my life in my life, in my life. Let, it let it overshadow let it overshadow every darkness, every darkness in, my life. in my life every darkness, every darkness in my life in my life pray. pray lift up your voice in the name of Jesus we are commanding the light of God to overcome every darkness in our life that we are experiencing in the name of Jesus you want to see what is coming but there's darkness that has covered you are with darkness you cannot see what is coming but today we decree and declare let the light of God uh, that overcome and overpass uh, every darkness let the light of God uh, penetrate and bring us the light uh, in the name of Jesus uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, the word of the Lord says uh, in the book of John chapter 9 verse 5 uh, that I am the light uh, today let the light of Christ uh, shown in your life uh, in the name of Jesus uh, every darkness uh, which has covered the uh, every darkness uh, we have become broken. Uh, we declare the light of God. Uh, let it shine right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, clap your hands. Uh, we are commanding. Let every darkness uh, give way for the light of God uh, to see, uh, to shine uh, right now by fire. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, listen. Listen. This is the set time uh, for the light uh, of the Lord uh, to shine. So shine uh, Life. In your life, this uh, is the set time, this is the set time for, the light for the light of the Lord, of the Lord to, shine to shine bright brighter in your life. In the, the Bible says, the Bible says and, the Lord and the Lord will have mercy, will have mercy on, Zion, on Zion, for it is time, it is time to favor her. To favor her. And yea, in the set time, the set time is, now. is now. This is the set time, is set time for the light, for the light of, the Lord of the Lord to shine, to shine in, your life. in your life. This is the set time for the Lord to let to let His light shine. Shine, shine bright, bright in your life. In your life lift up your lift voice. Your voice uh, from the back, from the back uh, to the front. To the front uh, don't stand there. Don't stand there. Right, uh, right, uh, invoke, invoke prayers, the prayers from, uh, the corridors, from the corridors of the eternity. Of the eternity. Let, the fire, let, the fire, uh, let the fire of the fire of the Lord come into your life. Into your life uh, the, fire the fire also represents uh, light. Light, uh, light. The fire, the fire uh, also represents uh, light. Light, uh, the light. The light uh, gives direction. direction. The light, light uh, gives visibility. The light, the light uh, is vision. vision. Lift up your voice. Up your voice uh, right now. Right now. Pray. Pray right now. Dini mi ko shela me no seve dena me ne mo shada ba a dini mi ko zebe dena me ne kapa radu na ma ko zebe ne kapa imani ko se dena me ko shada ba we command every darkness in our life to disappear any darkness of shame any darkness of sickness any darkness that is following us we command let there be light let there be light let there be light a dini mi ko shela me ne kapa radu zebe ni mi ne kapa. Right now, right now, I see, I see the light, the light overshadowing, overshadowing darkness, darkness in your life. In your life. Right, now, right now, the prayer, the prayer you are praying right now, praying right now has, been has been ascended into the heavens, into the, heavens the, corridors the corridors of heaven, of heaven has, heard has heard your prayers, your prayers and they are releasing, they are releasing the, light the light right now, right now the light, the light right now. Now, right now, I see, I see darkness, darkness being overshadowed. Be overshadowed. That, pain that pain is fading away. Is fading away. That, trouble that trouble is fading away. Is fading away. That, addiction that addiction is fading, is fading away. away. Hey. Lift up your voice, up your voice. From, the from the back to the front. The lemme kope, apele kosha, pe shala kope, rakoshe, the lemme kope, the lemme kope, rapele kosha, rapele kapala, rabasha na ba. In the name of the Jesus. Name. Hey, we are still praying. Listen, the Bible says in the verse number four 
we are reading our scripture from Genesis chapter 1, the verse number 1 to 4. And our first prayer was that the Holy Spirit should saturate the atmosphere. And our second prayer topic was that the light of the Lord shine in our life. Somebody shout goodness. Goodness. The Bible tells me in the verse 4 that and God saw the light that it was good. When the light shines in your life, whatever you see is goodness. Everything you see is good. I receive it. Everything you see is good. I receive it. And I want to uh, see, I want us to pray for the goodness of the Lord. Do you know why you have to pray for the goodness of the Lord? See, our father, the apostle general, made mention last two weeks when he was preaching. He said, goodness is a spiritual entity that can hear. So you have to invoke the goodness of the Lord in your life. See, you can see it coming. The light has shone in your life and you have seen the, 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 the good thing that has come to you. But, but do you know what? You would have to pray for the goodness to be sustained. For the goodness to be sustained. The Bible said that when, the, when God saw the light, he saw that it was good. Listen, we are going to pray. Oh God, oh God, even though I can see what is coming, let what is what that is coming to me not be of a negative thing, but of a good thing. Oh, is that a good prayer topic to pray? Listen, you can be praying, you can be praying, God, God, I want to see goodness, God. The, my father said that I can see it coming. I can see it. Yes, we know that it is goodness that is coming. But let me tell you one thing. See, bad things can also come. But that is not our portion. Oh, so the Bible said that the Lord saw the light and it was good. You are going to say that God, whatever I see, Jesus. let it be good. Yes, whatever that is coming to me, yes, Lord. as your light shine on yes, it, Lord. let it be good. In the name Don't of let Jesus. it be bad yes, Lord. for me to come and pray yes, again, for me to see a good thing. Let it come once and for all. Yes, right hands lifted. Shout, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Let what is coming. Let what is coming. To me. To me. Be good. Be good. What my life. My eyes. What my life. What my eyes. What my eyes. Will see. Will see. Let it be good. 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 Lift up your voice. Lift your voice in prayer. Lebe Shanama. Hatene me koprani mi kapaya. Hilaba shane kapene me keta. People of God, clap your hands. People of God, lift up your voice in the name of Jesus we speak to the entity of goodness to come to our dwelling in the name of Jesus your graduation is coming and it is good your marriage is coming and it is good your scholarship is coming and it is good your appointment is coming and it is good your contract is coming and it is good what is the goodness of the law clap your hands and claim the goodness of the Lord over your life in the name of Jesus. God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and he saw it was good. Declare something because it is good to declare in the, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise, we give you all the honor. We say you are bigger than the biggest, you are stronger than the strongest, you are wiser than the wisest. Father, for we have known today that the light is the answer. The light gives visibility. The light gives vision. The light gives direction. And we have prayed for the light to shine in our lives. Father, oh God, we thank you, oh God, for a yes to our prayers tonight. In the name of Jesus, amen. Give the Lord praise in this place. We are in worship. Come on, lift your voice and worship Him. Lift up a sound of worship to the King of Kings. We give you glory. Tonight we 
Come on, give God praise. Come on, give Him praise. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Are you ready for Camp 2023? Oh, oh, oh. Listen, it's, it's been like four or five years since we met together as um, um, residents to, 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 to worship God and give Him praise. So you people, some of you are losing the verb, you are losing the vibe. Is somebody ready for Camp 2023? Listen, if you, are, if you are thinking that we haven't begun, the camp has already begun. Oh, the camp has already begun. If you can see your miracle coming, if you can see your breakthrough coming, if you can see your victory coming, somebody shout! Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. We are ready to go. We want to. The, the presence of the Lord is already in this place. Uh, I, can, I can feel it. I can feel it. The presence. The presence of the Lord is already in this place. And if you know the presence of the Lord is coming in to change your story, to turn your life around, somebody scream. Can you see your miracle coming? Can you see your breakthrough coming? Can you see your healing coming? When we say healing, it doesn't mean you are sick, but you are praying that whatever sickness will come your way, the presence of the Lord will take care of it before it comes. Somebody scream. Oh, somebody shout. Somebody jump up. Jump up. Raka Bahaya. Jump up. Jump up. Run for your miracle. Run for your breakthrough. Run, come on. Somebody is green. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Hey, the Spirit of the Lord is here. Do you believe it? I feel it in the atmosphere. The spirit of the Lord is here. Oh my! The spirit of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The power of the Lord.
and hallelujah praise my hallelujah belongs to you. Come on, lift your voice. Shout our praise in this place. If you know he deserves your worship, if you know he deserves your praise, 
If you know he deserves your gratitude, lift up a sound of praise and shout unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise, all ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. If you believe the Lord has been good and his mercies endure forever, somebody scream. Hallelujah. We are not done yet. This is just part one. Give the Lord a shout of praise.
Somebody ready to praise? Come on, be on your feet. Come on. Let's jump and praise and celebrate God tonight. Come on. Be on your feet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put your hands together.
rise it up. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, stamp your feet. Step on the devil. Step on the devil. Oh, clap your hands.
Hi everyone, the WMG camp is here again and you don't want to miss the Can we dance? Can I show you a dance? Hi everyone, 
the WMG camp is here again and you don't want to miss the powerful presence, prayer, praise, worship and all the fun and exciting activities it promises which is why you need to stay connected for exclusive content and exciting updates. Follow us on all our social media platforms which will be popping up on your screens. You can also watch all our services on your favorite TV Christian channel, Powerline TV. Don't forget to like, share, and comment with the hashtag WMG Camp. WMG Camp 2023. I can see it's coming. Energy. A shout. I say, give the Lord a shout of praise. Listen, after 430 years, when the Israelites finally were leaving Egypt, I could feel the excitement. I could see their joy. I could see their celebration. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm coming to you, hold it, hold it. Now, after four years of missing camp, after camp, when finally the Lord opened the floodgate, and he doesn't take you to a strange land, but he brings you to your own land. He brings you to your city of Shiloh. He brings you to your promised land, where your hostel is a stone thrown away. You will shout. You will run around. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Come on, come on, give the Lord a shout. Listen. You are not excited enough. You are not excited enough. God bless you. See, after four years of missing camp, and the Lord has given you the way, your shout must be higher. Your celebration must be higher. Your joy must be higher. Somebody, give the Lord, give the Lord, give the Lord, give the Lord a shout. Come on, let me see you run around. Give the Lord a shout. Listen, listen, in 1 Kings chapter 18, Bible says that an Elijah was coming back to the land of Israel. And Bible said that when he came back, the, um, Ahab the king has met him. And Bible said around this time there was no rain. Somebody showed no rain. Four years no rain of camp. Four years of drought. Four years of no joy. No celebration. But I have a good news for you. I said, I have a good news for you. Finally, Elijah comes. And Bible says in the verse number 44, when he has gone into the mount, he has gone up to Mount Carmel, and he was praying, Bible says he sent his servant to go and check whether he will see something. He goes and comes back with the first report. No so, say no so. Then he goes again, goes again. On the seventh one, the common English verse in our Bible says that and the servant came back with a report. He said, Master, I see a cloud gather as little as the feast of a man. Hey! Elijah said, this is all the sign I need. I don't need to see it. the whole place is coming down. I prophesy to you, the sign you are looking for, you shall see it. You are looking for a sign of the fruit of the womb. The Lord will give it to you. You are looking for a sign of marriage. The Lord will give it to you. You are looking for a sign to have a scholarship, to do your master's and your PhD abroad. I see the Lord breaking it. Shout, I can say it. When I shout come 2023, I want you to respond, I can see it coming. The second time, I want to hear, I feel the Bible. The third time, I want to hear, heat with a certain energy. Are you ready? Come 2023. Come 2023. Come 2023. Heat. I said this come is going to be heat. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. On behalf of my spiritual father and mother, the Apostle General. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He is not only Apostle General of Ghana, but he is the Apostle General worldwide. 
and our premier lady, Mama Silo, Mama Silo, the Swagger Mama, 60 by 60. Hey, somebody, are you celebrating our father and our mother? Hallelujah. Kindly assume your seat. Now I welcome all of you to come 2023 here in the oil, in the empty grave temple. Hallelujah. Heat. Here in the empty grave temple city of Shiloh. Now there are strange strangers here, but I want you to know that this is your land. This is your home. This is your place. So feel at home. All our online viewers, I welcome you. I want you to stay glued and stay tuned to, to any media or via, via YouTube, via Facebook Live, via um, Powerline Television. I want you to stay glued to your television set because the power and the heat of God, I can see it transforming your life in the next hour, in the next two hours until this camp is over. Wherever you are watching me from, you are welcome. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Now, shall we receive a testimony from the media? Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Oh, is that all you can do for Jesus? Come on, celebrate. Slap those hands together. If you're expecting a miracle at come 2023, I want to hear your shout and your celebration. I can see you already. I can see you already. So, tonight, we... My assignment here is very simple. I'm going to be taking a testimony. We are going to take a testimony from the media team. But before we take the testimony, I want to give a little intro. So we are taking a testimony from our brother called Dilal. And he's not here with us. And in a few minutes, you will discover where he is and why he's not here. So our brother Dilal was an SHS student in Dunkwai Offen. So and it was around the time when he was preparing to write his final exam, that's the WASI. And it was just about a few days to write his paper. And just before he, he was preparing, just before he writes his exams, the accountant comes out with a list and says that he hasn't paid his school fees. But he knows for sure that he has paid his school fees. He even took his receipt and sent it to the accountant to prove that he had paid his school fees. But the accountant said to him that, no, you haven't paid your school fees. So he sacked him from the school. And because of that, he left the school and he found his way in Accra. He left that very morning and he came all the way to Accra. For those of us who are watching, those of us who are confused, from Dunkwai or Frinsu to Accra, it's about a six-hour journey. So this young boy traveled all the way from Dunkwai or Frinsu. And when he landed in Accra, his first stop was Royal House Chapel. His first stop was Ayinfie. Oh, and, that, and, and when he landed and he found himself in Royal House Chapel, his life has never been the same. He received a testimony and a blessing. And I came to announce to some 500 people that as you find yourself in this place tonight, as you find yourself a city of Shiloh, you shall go back with a miracle. You shall go back with a blessing. You shall go back with a testimony. You shall go back with a breakthrough. Come on, shout, I receive it. So, he finds himself, and it was in 2020. So, I want us to watch the screens, and media team, please, let's watch, and then let's see what happens. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am here today with my brother, Dila, and uh, I'm here to share his testimony. So, in 2021, he applied to the Ghana Armed Forces because he was finding a way to uh, move forward in life because he wasn't getting money to go to the university. If you remember, in 2021, this was when there was a lot of young graduates um, in the system in Accra who didn't have a job. And there was a rush for people to get into the security services. And uh, we had about 200,000 people applying to the security services, the armed forces, the fire service, the air force, and they were picking just about 11,000 people. And it was even because of this struggle and this um, unemployment situation, which gave birth to a passenger series, why all these, why all these? You can take your time and listen to this series. 
So you say that when you apply the 2021, you didn't hear anything. Yeah, I just went for the documentation and everything in Cape Coast. Okay. So from there, I didn't hear anything. Yeah. Like that. So he applied 2021, he hears nothing, and it was like everything had come to a standstill. He didn't have any money to go to the university. Nothing was working for him. He had no home. He was hopeless. He had no home. Uh, he had no money. I mean, everything had come to a standstill. He found himself in a crowd. So, Drive for Momentum, WMG Camp um, is coming up, and we have Drive for Momentum. So, uh, for the prayer and worship all night, which was happening at Ahimfi, he found himself into the service. It was an all night service. And as a matter of fact, you can already conjecture that he was there because he didn't have anywhere to sleep. So, he just came into the service just to pray. And he says that all the prayer topics that were lifted, he didn't even know which one to pray for. Because all the prayer topics were relevant to him. He had so many prayer topics to pray about. But he just kept on praying, engaging the altar in tears, you know, asking himself, how was this going to happen? And he just kept praying, just kept praying. And after the service ends, he tells me that he receives a phone call just three hours after the service. Three hours after the service. And the phone call was from the security service. And they told him that, the application that he made in 2021, that application has been confirmed and that application has been um, has gone through successfully. So he should report for training on, on the 4th of August. So an application that was put in in 2021, two years down the line, because he engaged the altar at the prayer all night, God came through for him and God backtracked his miracle for him. I came to announce to somebody that anything that has delayed in your life, any delayed miracle, any delayed testimony, any delayed blessing, any delayed contract and promotion, the Lord is bringing you speed and acceleration. The Lord will bring it to pass. You were supposed to be promoted two years ago, but when the Lord is bringing you that promotion, He will take you two levels higher. Come on, son, I receive it. So our brother here is standing here and he's going to start his training very soon and God has turned his life around and God has given him a testimony and a blessing. Uh, Dila, I just wanted to encourage somebody out there with your story and uh, just, you know, boost their faith a little bit. Praise the Lord. There's a God in Royal House and if you, found your, if you find yourself in Royal House today, it's really a great blessing that you don't have to miss. Yeah. I was only an online worshiper in 2020, 2018. And from 2018, the testimonies and the miracles I've encountered. Oh, Charlie. So if you are here, I tell you there's no God anywhere. There is no God anywhere. There is no except God anywhere. the God of Prachi Angra that we know. Our Father, the Apostle General Prachi Angra that we know. And our Mother, Mama Rita. Yeah. Their altar is very potent. If you are here and you are listening to this, I tell you and I want to encourage you that don't look anywhere. Always when you are encountering any problem, just walk straight to the altar. Oh, come on, put your hands together for Jesus. So, for those of you who didn't hear clearly, let me just summarize quickly. So, this guy travels all the way, gets to Accra, homeless, doesn't have any hope. And when he gets to Accra, he engages the altar of our Father. And in that same moment, just in about two days' time, he gets back to office, so he writes the exam, and he says to us that when he came to the altar, he had a request, and he wanted a certain grade, and when he placed the request on the altar, the Lord granted him that request, and I came to prophesy to some 500 people here, that you have come to the city of Shiloh with a request in your heart. You have written something down on a certain paper, and you are about to engage the altar with it. You are writing and you are applying for a certain job, you are applying for a certain master's, you are applying for a scholarship, and you are bringing it to the altar. I came to announce to you that the Lord shall grant you your request. The Lord shall answer your prayers. By the time the service is over, by the time come 2023 is over, you shall receive your answers. You shall receive your answers. Someone shout yes. And after two years of delay, two years of living on the streets of Accra, two years of having nothing, the Lord restores his joy 
and today he's at the Bema camp and he's doing his training. Who told you that God has delayed in your life? Who told you that that testimony has delayed? Who told you that that miracle has delayed? Who told you that God is taking too long? The miracle is just around the corner. Apostle Jonah said, help is just around the corner. And I came to announce to somebody that your blessing is just around the corner. I feel like I'm speaking to myself. WMG, I came to let you know, I can 2023, you shall receive that miracle. You shall receive that blessing. Your life shall be transformed. Your life shall be changed. You shall become different. You shall become different. You shall become what God has ordained you to become. Someone said, I receive it. Extraordinary strategy. Oh, I can't tell you to know that whatever blessing has delayed in your life, whatever blessing has delayed in your life, I can 2023. You are receiving supreme and acceleration. You want to go to your university. It is time for it to happen. It is time to be the deep specialist. Marita, I salute you and all the executives of WMG. God bless you for giving me this opportunity. I don't take it lightly at all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angel Kukwa MacArthur, a level 200 student of the Accra Technical University, offering for, oh, give it to me now. I am a proud member of the Royal House Chapel, a Wutubreku Assembly, Messi Central. Oh, where are my people? My mission here is very simple. First time at my assembly, I was given the opportunity to lead worship. And as at that time, I thought I didn't have the ability to lead. I thought I didn't have the capacity and the ability to lead worship because my confidence level was so, so low. So because of that, I had to run to the washroom and hide myself until the worship section was over because I thought I had nothing to offer. So I went to the washroom and I locked myself up. I cried because, God, I have nothing to offer. I can't come and stand here and disgrace myself. I can't do it. So I went to lock, up my, uh, lock out, locking myself at the washroom in shame. So after the whole section or after the service, when we got home, I felt so bad that, Lord, my siblings are far gone ahead of me in ministry. AG is 60 when they called for preaching. My sister was here. My elder brother was here. Only me, I was just in the congregation giving fast. I wasn't doing anything. It, I told myself that I need to come out of my shell and break out. That spirit of shyness and timidity, I need to break out and come out. People have to see my exposure. People need to see what I, I have because I was so useful to be wasted. This prayer became my priority. Anytime I get the opportunity to the altar, I pick up a sacrifice and I come. After that time, I never took offering as a joke. Let me tell you, we always come here and we say it's time for offering and we just bring it, thinking it's a normality, something that we normally do. But I am here to give you a testimony about my offering. Anytime it's time for offering, I'll pick up a sacrifice, come to the altar and release just this one prayer that, Father Lord, I can't be at the back for people to be moving ahead of me. It's not possible. You didn't bring me to this earth to just be useless like that. Like, no, see me right now. I am standing before you first night. Ah! This became my number one priority. Ladies and gentlemen, after some few months, 
one lady came into my DM that, Angel, the publicity for the Queen, Esther Wisdom and Intellectual Parade is out. So I've sent your name and registered to prepare. I was like, woman, you can't come into my DM and tell me that you sent my name. I am the CEO of my life. You have to ask me first. I really got angry at that time because you can't just send my name. I wasn't prepared. So I told the lady that, please, I'm not interested. So go and cancel my name. She said she has sent it already. I got angry and I blocked her because I mean, you can't do this to me. So after some time, I realized that no, this is something I've been praying for. This is the opportunity I've been looking out for. I always come to the altar and pray. Now God has given me this opportunity. I'm trying to bounce it back. If it was a guy, I'd have bounced you a long time. <laughs> that was me back then, but now I'm changing my story. So after I realized it was an opportunity to God, I came to the altar and said, God, if this opportunity is from you, let your glory be manifested in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, I took this opportunity and I went through the process. To the glory of God, I stood on the altar of my father, the Apostle General. Among the 10 contestants, I was the lady with the lowest confidence. But at the end of the day, ah, I said at the end of the day, I turned out to have the highest marks of confidence on the sheet of the judges. Not even that alone. I stand before you as the second runner-up of Queen Esther Wisdom and Intellectual Parade. What are you telling me? I am here to declare to someone. I don't care where you have gotten to. I am here to declare to someone. You think you've been learning and learning. Your GPA is dedicated. But I stand in the school of Margarita. myself I didn't even know what I was doing but you can see me in this nice jeans I am wearing with this painted thing on it I am here to tell you I am the CEO of my own business I ran this this was made by me and after that the orders that I got I don't know where it came from as at now I'm even tired I have to post certain big people because I have to give thanksgiving and I have to come back to my altar because I know where the source was coming from I prayed that I wanted to fight that spirit of shyness and timidity. But God added another blessing. Oh, I am here to tell someone, you think you are praying for one child, but God is bringing you twins. You think you are praying for one child, God is bringing you triplets and quadruplets. You are 30 years and beyond. You think you've not gotten married. Your friends have gone far ahead of you. Don't worry. As you are picking up your offering and you are releasing this one prayer, my father is coming in for you. My Lord is coming in for you. If you believe, shout, I believe. Online viewers, you are not left out at all. The details will be on your screen. Follow the procedure and tap into this testimony. Let's lift up our offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for such a night like this. We thank you for an opportunity given to us. As we are releasing this one prayer on our offering, may we see the manifestation of your glory in our lives, oh God. And next year by this time, we will come to this same altar and come and give glory and honor to you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's welcome the Liberty Choir. Between 30 years and 50 years. Between 30 years and 50 years, that is the time of hard work. At 50, you should not be doing hard work like 30 years. Never. At 50 years, you are still struggling. Run and look for me. I, I need to take you to a special deliverance. 
At 50, you should be at the apex and the pinnacle of your success. At 50, you should have people who are working for you. That is if you are an entrepreneur. If you are not an entrepreneur and you are a public servant, you should have people under you. You should be at the head. If you are in the military, by 50, you should be a major general. And if you are in the police service, you should be an assistant commissioner or deputy commissioner. And if you own your own business, your business must be on top and you should be rubbing shoulders with the captains in your industry. When they are mentioning successful people, your company must be mentioned at 50. Then at 50 to 60, you don't struggle too much. But because you have raised sons and people are working for you, the money is coming from left, right, left, right, left, right. By 60, 65, if you don't have sons who are taking over your business, if you don't have, have if you have never educated your children who have also become professionals and captains to take care of you at 65, you have failed. You have failed. This is the revelation of Apostle General, your father. If you know you fall in the bracket of people who are failing and struggling, the camp meeting is for you. But if you are over age, you cannot come. Stay glue and make sure that you are listening to the things we are telling the young boys and the young girls. I can see it Amen. coming. The law of recognition is the key to the manifestation of the dream of your heart. If you can see it, you can possess it. If you can see it, you can hold it. If you can see it, you can recognize it. If you don't see it, how do you know when the thing arrives? Reverend Emmanuel T. Agormida is the senior pastor of Royal House Chapel International, Maryland in the United States. He also doubles as the apostle in charge of Royal House Chapel churches in North America. He carries a strong apostolic, pastoral, and prophetic mantle upon his life, leading him into planting churches and strengthening existing ones. He is a motivational speaker and a dynamic, creative preacher of the Word of God. His boldness, precision, and simple but powerful exegetical and expository way of teaching the Word of God has won the admiration of many and has transformed countless lives. Reverend Emmanuel is a sought-after conference preacher and speaker, ministering extensively in the United States and countries across the globe. always looking for opportunities to disciple people into Christian leadership. His educational background in divinity and leadership studies has motivated him to train church staff, lay leaders, deacons, ministers, and pastors in building for the kingdom. Known for his vision and passion for equipping people for a victorious and successful Christian life on earth. Reverend Emmanuel is noted for his heart of service, discipline, faithfulness, tenacity of purpose, and ability to make God real in the affairs of people. His ministry is characterized by the demonstration of the power of God resulting in notable testimonies. Reverend Emmanuel holds a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Political Science and a Master's of Divinity with a Pastoral Studies emphasis and is a doctoral candidate of ministry at the Oral Roberts School of Theology. In 2021, Reverend Emmanuel Agormida received a Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award from the Office of the President of the United States. Additionally, Reverend Emmanuel is a board member of the National Evangelical Association. After 20 years of ministry, Reverend Emmanuel Agormida has released two powerful, highly anticipated books, Lockdown and Strange Voices, that offer profound insights and inspiration for those seeking hope and meaning in difficult times. He is happily married to Reverend Mrs. Wilhelmina Agormida, and they are blessed with three lovely children. This is Liberty Temple Choir from Bethany Assembly. Come on, celebrate the Lord for this. In the book of Philippians chapter 2, the verse 9, the Bible says that for he has been given a name above all names, in heavens and under the earth and everywhere, 
that at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord. This evening we are here to proclaim and pronounce the name of Jesus. That everything that has heard your miracle from coming, that you cannot see your miracle. Tonight as you proclaim the name Jesus, you shall see it. Clap your hands and say, I shall see it.
2023 Camp 2023 
Come 2023. High five somebody and say, I can feel the vibe. Oh. Amen. My God, what an energy, anointing, presence, power, grace, oil. Look at your neighbor and tell them something is about to happen. Leave your seat. Look for some seven people. High five them and tell them I will see you at the top. Tell the other person, see you at the top. See you at the top. See you at the top. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot wait for what God will be doing in this camp. Somebody is leaving this place with your scholarship. Somebody is leaving this place with your promotion. Somebody is leaving this place with the money you need for your business. Somebody is walking out of this place for that visa you applied for. Come on, somebody shout, I am ready for my blessing. Thank you. Thank you. It's always a joy to be on my father's pulpit. It's always a blessing to be here. I want us to stand up and I want us to celebrate. Wait, 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 wait. On um, yesterday morning, I had a meeting with a lady. This lady knew me when I was a boy, you know, like a real boy, like when I was five, six, seven. In fact, from when I was born up to when I was about fifteen or so, that she didn't see me again. And she was having a meeting with me and a breakfast, and then she said she was thanking God for God's goodness what God has done in my life and he said she said it in God she apostle general um, so what what he said he said apostle general has really done well for you uh, somebody in life, in life, in life, there are people you meet. And when you meet them, you receive direction and acceleration into your destiny. Let's celebrate our Papa. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Go ahead and let's celebrate him. Let us love on this man. You are next in line for your elevation. You are next in line for your greatness. And so, Daddy, God bless you and thank you so much for seeing what others do not see. The patience, the love to nurture and to help us to walk into purpose. God bless you. I thank God so much for your life. God bless you. God bless you. And I want us to celebrate my personal mama and my personal counselor. The mama with the swag, Mama Rita. God bless you, mommy. God bless you for all you do for us. And God bless you for giving us Shiloh, where we can come and worship. Where we come and sleep, and it's like we are sleeping in a five-star hotel. God bless you. When we entered into where we were sleeping, my, I came with my kids. I'll introduce, I'll introduce them very soon. When we entered, then my first one said, this is presidential. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. 
I want to thank God for all the men of God and women of God who are here tonight to celebrate WMG camp. Let's give a big one to the leaders of the WMG for what they do. Give a big one to them. I came with my wife. <laughs> my wife of this year of 20 years my friend and my partner in ministry over the years we've been through it all and we are studying together God has been gracious to us amen I came with my three children Teddy is the first one that's him standing Teddy Teddy is going to university next week. Devin, princess, my second born, and the last one, King Sam. God bless you. Thank you. Bring you greetings from Royal House Chapel, Great, Great Center, and Royal House Chapel, North America, where I'll be seeing some of you in December. where some of you are coming for vacation next year where some of you will be coming to sign some documents in the next three years can somebody shout I receive it oh say it again I receive it lift up your right hand and pray <laughs> lift up your right hand and begin to pray begin to pray Pray, just pray. Tell the Lord to speak to you. Tell the Lord to minister to you. Rabo Shabakatabai. I want you to lift up your voice. If you can blast in tongues, blast in tongues. It is Camp 2023. I can see it's coming. Begin to speak that you will have an encounter with the power of the Lord tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Pray. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Yabo Shabakata. Pray, Kaba Shotaya, Rande Bakata Bayondara Baba, Rabo Shaba Bakataya. Something must happen to you. 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 Incredible God. Incredible God. Incredible. Lift up your right hand. Anytime I call, everybody. Christian 
And in his teen, as he looked at his life coming from a home with a father who was polygamous, he began to see into his future. And he looked around and he told himself, I cannot repeat what my father went through. I must be a game changer and I must turn situations around. From that young age, he began to see. Somebody say he began to see. He began to see and what he was seeing started unfolding little by little. That even when he was in secondary school, those days, all levels, he was already a leader in school. By the time he goes into sixth form, he becomes a leader in school. By the time he finishes school, before he finishes, he has mobilized people. He was already a leader. In the process, he saw his destiny unfolding, unfolding, unfolding unfolding a person who was who was born into a struggling family where poverty was the order of the day all of a sudden God lifts him up God gives him a voice God gives him a name God uses him to educate other people God uses him to raise people from nowhere to somewhere God uses him to interpret people's lives for them. And today, that person is the Apostle General of Royal House Chapel International. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can see it coming, you can step into it. He saw it coming and he has stepped into it. I decree and declare over 35 people here today and I say to you today that just as the Lord lifted the Apostle General up, God is going to lift you up. I don't care how old you are. You may be a teenager. You may be in your 20s. You may be in your 30s. Maybe in your 40s. Maybe in your 50s. But I decree and I declare over your life, if you can see it coming, you can enter into it. Somebody take a step, say, I enter. Oh, I cannot fully say, I enter. Say, I enter. Say, I enter. I want to talk to you on the subject, the dreamer. Somebody say, the dreamer. <laughs> the, the dreamer if you can see it coming you will end up in the palace Genesis chapter 41 verse 41 through verse 43 I can see it coming oh my god the dreamer the dreamer the dreamer and Pharaoh said to Joseph see I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Can I prophesy to some 700 people who are ready for the next level of their lives? That say the Lord, see, I have set you over the nation of Ghana. Or I feel like they're on my left hand side. I said, today you may look insignificant, but if God has given our daddy a voice in this nation and beyond, I speak to you and I say, I said, see, the Lord has given you the nation. The Lord has given you Europe. The Lord has given you the Americas. The Lord has given you Asia. Somebody say, I enter. Hey. Egypt, I set you over your family. I set you over your city. I set you over your company. I set you over your industry. I set you over in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody say, I step in. Say, I step in. <laughs> then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand and clothed him with his garment of linen 
and put a gold chain around his neck and he had him ride in the second chariot which he had and they cried before him bow the knee tell somebody bow the knee oh say say bow the knee say bow the knee so he set him over all the land of Egypt the dreamer the dreamer, the dreamer, the dreamer, the dreamer, the dreamer. So this guy, Joseph, we are reading about the beginning of his greatness. Joseph had a dream, maybe around the age of 17. And when he had the dream, this is a dream of when he slept. And when everybody was sleeping and he was sleeping, God opened his eyes. And he had a dream that they were gathering sheaves. And he saw that out of the 12 sheaves, he was standing and 11 of the sheaves bowed to his sheaf. So he wakes up in the morning and in his naivety, he talks to his brothers. Remember, he's the loving born. And he tells his brothers, this was the dream I had. His brothers quickly understood the dream. And they said that, are you, are, you, are you saying you are going to rule over us? The Bible says, and then they hated him even the more. Previously, they had hated him. They hated him because their, fa their father loved him. Now, they are even hating him the more. He goes to sleep again and then he dreams. In this dream, he sees stars and he sees the moon and he sees the sun and, and he the moon and he says, everybody bow to his star. His brother said, wow, again? And his daddy said, are you going to have dominion over all of us? The Bible says his brothers hated him but his father kept it in his heart. Somebody say dream. Somebody say dream. Somebody say dream. Somebody say dream. The dream he had will manifest beginning from Genesis 41. And by the time you go into the book of Genesis chapter 50, the Bible says, and his brothers came when Joseph was in his glory. And what he saw in the dream he saw it manifest. They came and they came to bow the knee. Now watch this. Before Genesis chapter 50, in Genesis 41, Pharaoh said that everybody who sees you must bow the knee. When he had a dream, Pharaoh was not there. But when God, when God is doing something, nobody is able to stop it. When God puts something in motion, nobody is able to cut it short. He says, they will bow the knee. Can I speak into your life right now that whatever God has said concerning your life, God will bring it to pass. It may be that you don't have the finest of education. Your family name may not be that powerful. You don't have connections. You don't know anybody. But if God has said it, like Joseph, they will bow their yes. knee. If God has said it, it shall come to pass. For God is not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. Has he not said it? Will he not do it? Has he not spoken? Will he not make it good? I see people here that God is raising up. I see people God is raising into the echelons of politics. I see I people God is raising as business tycoons. I see I people God is raising as consultants. I yes. see people that God is raising as real estate investors. I, I see people that God is raising as conference speakers. I see people that God is raising as influencers. I see yes. people 
that God is raising that will change the course of history in their families. I receive it. What you say you want God, I just need you all right, bro. Because you are not. Concerning your life will come to pass. Yes. And if you have not heard what God is saying concerning your life, by the time this conference is over, you will hear the voice of God clearly, vividly, audibly. You will see it vividly. You will hear it clearly. Can somebody shout yes? Yes. I said, you are not living this place not knowing what God is saying concerning your life. Amen. I, I'm telling you, I said, you are not living this place without the confidence that you are going to make it in life. High five your neighbor and tell them, I will make it. I will make it. The dreamer. Dreamers become great people. But to become great, it's a process. Someone say process. Say process. There are three stages or three things that you must expect to enter into your greatness. Number one is perception. 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 Number two is persecution. Persecution. Number three is preparation. Can I say that again? One is perception. Two, persecution. Three, preparation. Are you ready for this? Come on, give me a way. Say, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Say, I am ready. I am ready. Every dreamer has what I call perception. Listen, you can only arrive at where you have seen or where you have been. Can I say that again? You can only accomplish, you can only arrive at where you have seen or where you have been. Every great person before they became great, they saw themselves great. Or in their man's mind, even though I may be at Allah Job, and I'm standing at Alajo. I have already seen myself in the state of Maryland, leading people, influencing people, touching lives. Even though I was in Alajo, I already saw myself somewhere. Was it really, really Maryland? I, it was not Maryland, but in Alajo, I saw myself at a place of influence and a place of honor. Oh, tell somebody if you can see it, you will get there. I say, if you can go there in the spirit, you will arrive there. That is the power of perception. That is the power of perception. You see, so at this point, you don't need even both parents in the house if your parent your, your parents are not together. Because sometimes we make a lot of excuses why we cannot become great. 
God knew what would happen to you before he brought you into the world. And before you were a clot of blood in your mother's womb, the Lord knew you and the Lord called you and the Lord empowered you. So your background should not stop your greatness. So your experiences in life should not limit you. You will arrive at that destination. Someone say, I will get there. I will get there. Say perception. Perception. Come on, say perception. perception. Say it like you can feel it. Say perception. perception. So with Joseph, his perception was having a dream. Sleeping and having a dream of where God would take him. Did God really say that he was going to be the man in the second chariot in Egypt? Not really. But God gave him a broad picture that one day his siblings will bow to him. And it, that, that one was just, was just a minute thing God was showing him that one day people are going to bow to you. But the truth is not everybody sleeps and have dreams and they come to pass. So if yours is not dreams that you dream that they come to pass maybe you will not be in this category because not everybody is a dreamer when we sleep how many of you know that how many of you know that some people when they sleep they sleep when they sleep they sleep so when people are talking about and I slept and the Lord opened my eyes and I saw myself in the aircraft and the aircraft was mine they don't understand what I when they sleep when they sleep when they sleep, when they sleep. When they sleep, they sleep. But somebody say, say, say he got you. Say he got you. You may not be the one that your perception comes through dream. But your perception can come from the written word. Somebody say the word. Somebody say the word. Are you aware that Jesus Christ, when he was born, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 4, and that when he entered the temple, and he picked up the scroll, he opened to the book of Isaiah, and he saw himself in the book of Isaiah that the spirit of the Lord is upon me that I should preach the good news to the poor that I should heal the broken hearted that I should set free those who have been held captive that I should bring from prison those who are bound that I should declare the acceptable year of the Lord he saw himself in the written word can I present to you that you are in the Bible Yes. Oh, I, I said you are in the Bible. Come on. So you see, you must not sleep and have a dream, but you are in the Bible. I know that Apostle General said, he said when God was calling him, when he prayed and prayed and prayed, and the spirit of the Lord led him to open the scripture, First Timothy chapter 3, and he said, whosoever desires the office of a bishop, he desired a good thing. He has always read that scripture. But that one day when he read the scripture, he could see that this is where God is taking him. Oh, listen to me. I said you are in the Bible. Right. Say perception. Perception. Come on, say perception. Perception. Number three. Number three. Maybe you are still looking in the Bible that you don't see. That is why there are preachers. So there is the written word and there is the preaching word. Ah, maybe you are not seeing yourself in the Bible. That's why there is Apostle General. That's why he will come. And when he is preaching and he is applying, that he declares that I see 150 Josephs in the house. I receive it. I see 270 people in the palace. I receive it. I see people in the second chariot. I receive it. When he is preaching and dividing the word, and he's doing the application you don't take yourself out of it that is how God is speaking to you it is called perception you see yourself in the word that that is where I am going may I present to you that when I became a born again Christian at Rare House Chapel at the age of 18 anytime I came to church and the Apostle General is preaching and he's doing applications about the future about what God can do with anybody and with people and he shares his story I could see myself in what he is preaching as to exactly where God is taking me I don't know but I can feel that God is taking me somewhere because the word that is coming is saying so 
Can I speak to somebody here today? I said there are Josephs being raised here today. I receive it. There are people who work, work in the courts of the king here. Yes. Somebody shout, I receive it. I receive it. Say perception. Perception. Say perception. Perception. So the word preached gives you a perception, picture. Opens your eyes to where you are going. There is what we call open vision. Open vision are people who literally are very gifted. So as we sit in church right now, they can be seeing visions. Not everybody are you in the house. So if you are in that group, you, you, I've told you, there's open vision. Then there is association. Association. I'm talking about perception here. I'm just talking about perception here. There is association. I said this last year at WNG. I said, often when God is taking you somewhere, God brings you into the company of people who have been there. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. God brings you into the company of people who have Elijah. Elijah was going to do great works. He was taking care of his father's cattle. Saw Elijah. Mantle fell on him and followed. He didn't know he was going to be a prophet. But in the company of the prophet, the prophetic oil fell upon him. He didn't start as a prophet. He started as the servant of the prophet. As a matter of fact, he's described as Elisha, the one who poured water on the hands of Elijah. He was only in the company of a prophet and the prophetic grace fell upon him. May I present to you, when you find yourself in the company of business people, even if you are opening doors for them and even if you are polishing shoes for them, ask yourself, why is it that only me today I'm with business people? Five years down the line, business people, tomorrow different groups of business people. Could it be that God is telling you that this is where I am? How about? Say, I can see it's coming. I can see it coming. Say, I can see it coming. I can see it coming. I'm talking about perception. One of the other ways is intuition. You know, intuition is that thing that you are not conscious, but you feel and you believe that something is going to happen. And there are certain people whose intuitions are sharp. As a matter of fact, everybody, one way, one time or, or, or the other in your life, your intuition helps you. You just don't know, but you know. Have you been there before? That they ask you, why do you know? I don't know, but I know. I don't know, but I know. Have you been at a place where sometimes you, you have been there and you are in your room but, and you have the, you, you know that you'll be great. You don't know, then you start crying. How many of you have been there before? You start crying and you, the, the crying is telling you, it shall be well tomorrow. But how it shall be well? What it shall be, you don't know, but you are crying. You are you are crying, and, and you are you are saying that I ever see me here, it shall be it shall be well with me, it, it shall be well with me, and, and you keep saying in it to yourself, something inside of you is telling you that you are going to the palace. Somebody something inside of you is telling you that you are going to a bigger and a better place in life. Some intuition. Oh, say perception. Perception. Gosh. If you can perceive it, you can get there. And then prophecy. 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 I remember when I used to be an usher in the church. We were having ushers all night. Mama Rita called us. And then he said, Don't worry about your future, your future is secured. God will make you great. As to what God will do, I don't know. But that prophecy has remained with me. It is more than almost about 28 or 27 years. That prophecy is still in my head. It's a prayer topic. I have prayed, I have prayed. And I look back and I say, look at the boy who was packing and arranging chairs in the room. Look at the guy the apostle general will say, I sack you. Look at the guy by the grace of God, he is also commanding people He's also raising leaders. A prophetic word went ahead of me. Can I prophesy into your life? Can prophesy. I say into your life? Just as she spoke to me, I decree and I declare 
that you shall be at the head of the table. I receive it. I decree and I declare that God will prosper you and you shall pay the school fees and tuition of people in the name of Jesus. I receive it. A time is going to come. You will give people places to sleep. Yes. A time is going to come. You are going to own businesses. I receive and it. You are going to employ people. I receive I it. I decree over your life. Yes. That in this nation, when they are looking for business people, Come on. when they are looking for movers and shakers, yes. they will not pass you by. Amen. I speak this today. I receive You it. may be at the age of 13. Yes. Or 23. Yes. Or 33. Yes. But the Lord will do it. Yes. imagination so I'm, I'm telling you, you you have no excuse to say that you don't know where God is taking you it, <laughs> those who imagine are what we, those who call daydreamers Day, daydreamers yeah, they are talking about things and they are seeing things that people are saying is impossible uh, seeing is free thinking about big things is free Talking big is free. So can you just wake up one morning and begin to imagine in your head that you are the CEO, CEO of this company and when you enter the office, from when you enter to you enter your office, everybody says, good morning, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon, sir. But yet you have nothing in your pocket right now. But baby, keep imagining it. Uh, did I speak to somebody here today? Yes. Can you just imagine yourself entering into your house and by the time you are entering, your electronic gate is opening because there is a sensor in your car yes. that can open your gate for you. Right. And when you get to the gate, your security man is saying, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Open the door. The driver gets out first and then you enter your house and you, you can imagine that when you enter there is water for you to put your feet in hey. for you to be massaged you are just imagining imagination is free that nobody limits you let nobody intimidate you and you can imagine that your food is ready and your wife is sitting next to you your husband is sitting next to you your children are around your table and you are eating and enjoying yourself you are imagining you can imagine that the president has given you a call and he's saying that I need counsel from you because we have to make a major decision. It is an imagination. But let me tell you, very often, if God is taking you nowhere, it is difficult for you to imagine. If God is taking you somewhere, somewhere, somehow, your spirit picks it up and you begin to imagine it. So when the imagination is coming, do not resist the imagination. Hold on to the imagination. Ah, say we are getting there. We are Can getting somebody there. rise up? Can somebody take a step? Can you imagine where you are going? And can you begin to prophesy where you are going? Ah, yabo, keterebe sabrandaba. Prophesy it. Prophesy it. Where you are going? Aye, kabrado sebrenda ya. Ah, where your ministry is going? Where your family will be, where your children will be, prophesy. You make the little things I do be like saying I'm big and go. Your grace makes a difference.
must perceive. You must perceive. But in your perception, you must be ready for persecution. You must be ready for persecution. <laughs> so being persecuted is being treated in a way that you shouldn't be because of what you believe in. So I believe that God is going to make me a king, a leader. I believe that God is going to make me a CEO. I believe that God is going to make me a mega pastor. I believe that God is going to make me the president of the nation. I believe that, but because just because of what I believe, I start facing persecution. So, so with Joseph, he had a dream. He had a dream. And his brothers, his first persecution was envy. When somebody envies you, it means that they want what you have. Or want to become what you have become. So, when you have big dreams, there are people who begin to envy you because they cannot dream like you. Apostle General was preaching on Sunday and Apostle General said, and blind Bartimaeus was shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. The people around Jesus became envious of the guy that the guy is so focused, has a vision to receive healing and they said, shut up, but he pressed on. In the midst of your persecution, the greatest mistake you make is to give up. Never give up. I said, never give up. So there are those who persecute you. There are those who hate you. Joseph was, those who envy you, Joseph was hated. To be hated is for somebody to dislike you. Because you talk big too much. Because they say you are full of yourself. They say, look at this poor guy talking like a rich man. I'm already poor. Why should I talk like a poor man? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm already poor. Why should I talk like a poor man? I have to talk like a rich man. But you know what? When they begin to hate on you because of what you have said, they begin to dislike you, they are trying to take your focus away from where God wants to take you. So baby, what you do is that you square your shoulder and you keep saying what you are saying, keep seeing what you are seeing, keep going where you are going, and by the time they realize what you see, you shall manifest. I receive it. Ah, Apostle General Sunday, you said it. I will say, you said that people who see, they are rebuked. You said they, they go through reproach, they go through shame, they go through rebukes, rejection. Do you know that Jacob's father, Joseph's father, rebuked Joseph? He said, Shut up, boy. Shut up. Are you going to have dominion over us and have dominion over your brothers? Are you going to be greater than us? Shut up. Listen, if you can see it coming, be ready for the people who shut you down. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said, be ready for the people who will look down upon you. Be ready for the people who will reject you. Be ready for the people who will ridicule you. Be ready for the people who will mock at you. Even Jesus, and they said, and they ridiculed Jesus because he said he was coming to do healing and deliverance. May I tell you that any time they are resisting you, let your resolve be stronger and never give up. The day you give up, you have kicked yourself out of the purpose of God for your life. Joseph never gave up. You would think his problems were coming to an end. They put him in a pit to kill him. But grace spoke for him. He came out. Yes. They sent him into Potiphar's house. The favorite child of his father. He became a slave in a foreign land. He was lied on. He was 
put in prison. Then so what God has written about you, it doesn't matter the persecution you face. It doesn't matter the resistance you face. It doesn't matter the oppression you face. It shall come to pass. It shall happen. For who is he that can declare a thing against you and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not approved of it? For they will surely gather against you, but they will not prevail against you. So your mantra and your verse must be, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff that comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Your sound must be a thousand may fall on my side and ten thousand on my right hand side. Yes. But they will not come near my dwelling place. Oh, Jesus. Your song will be, I will not be afraid of the terror of my life. Yes. The pestilence that was in darkness. How about the destruction that comes by noon day. How about I will not be afraid. In the name Only of Jesus. with my eyes I shall behold yes. and see the reward of the wicked. In the name of the Jesus. worst must be, How about if God be for me, How about who can be against me? How about the worst must be, How about the Alpha and the Omega. Yes. If he has begun with me, come on, then he will finish with me. In the name of Jesus. Problems may come, yes. Persecutions may come, yes. Challenges may come, yes. They may ostracize you, yes. But God, but come on, God, come on, but God, but God, he will not forsake you, yes. For I will be with you, yes. When you go through the hard times, come on, and the difficult times, come on, and the most rejected times, come on, my very, very present, yes. Seven minutes. So, perception, persecution, preparation. So, in Genesis 39, in your preparation, if you look at the story of Joseph, there are three key things that you must have that must be part of your life in your period of preparation. Because on the day of your manifestation, you will need those three keys. One is dedication to God. Two is discipline. Three is devotion to duty. The Bible says, and the Lord was with Joseph. Genesis 39. Four times it says. So. The Bible says, and Joseph said, how can I do this evil wickedness against God and against my master? He loved God. His life was dedicated to God. His life was to God. Every dreamer, anybody who wants to get somewhere must have the God factor. Must fear God. Fearing God is not necessarily coming to church every day. Fearing God is that I come to church and what I hear is transforming my life it's informing my decision it's shaping my character it's making me a better man because at the top you need character Joseph loves, loved God he loved God the day his brothers came and they thought he was going to retaliate he forgave them he said you meant it for evil but God turned it for my good you see, a person who wants to be great's life must be dedicated to God and it must be seen in their character. 
It must be seen in their relationship with people. Well, how they relate with people in school, relate with people at work, relate with your spouse. It shows that you fear God. Praying for hours does not mean you fear God. If you pray for hours and your character does not honor God, you don't fear God. Dedicate your life to God. Give your life to Him. Number two, discipline. Joseph was a very disciplined guy. He learned his discipline in Potiphar's house. The Bible talks about the last of the flesh, the last of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the ice. And it talks about the pride of life. He was in Potiphar's house and Zuleika Potiphar. That's the wife of Potiphar. Very beautiful lady. Chest is chest. Shape, shape. Legs, legs. Hair, hair. Face, face. Skin, skin. Beauty. He, he wanted to bring Joseph out of slavery on a silver platter by Joseph sinning. But Joseph learned discipline. He learned discipline. He said, I'm so disciplined that I will not touch you. Let me tell you, you can fear God and still be sinning against God. You can claim you fear God. But if you really fear God, you also add discipline to your life. What you have to do, you do it at the time you must do it. People who are disciplined, they never blame other people for their failures. Those who blame people are people who don't have the capacity to learn discipline. And they allow anything to happen to them. There was a, a pastor. It's not the same. He came to speak to us, a few of us. I was in a class and he came to speak. He, he was a pastor of an Assemblies of God church. He picked a church from nowhere. They built a church building in America. White guy. Nice church building. School. He lacked discipline. He started sleeping with the secretary. Slept with the secretary. They noticed that he wasn't coming for Bible studies. They would ask. People started, mm, 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 mm. Eventually, when the elders found out, they kicked him out of the church. His lack of discipline kicked him off the perch. And he had to start from the bottom. He said in his life, he hasn't worked anywhere apart from working for God. So he has to now go and look for a job outside of the church. He said he would drive and go to the parking lot where he will work and when he gets there not because the job is a horrible job but his heart didn't like that job he will weep his indiscipline kicked him off if you want to be great and you are a dreamer add discipline to your life start it now if you are a student and you must sleep at nine discipline yourself sleep at nine let everybody else sleep at, sleep at night. You are teaching yourself something. If you must wake up at four, make no excuse. Wake up at four. Whatever it is, it's called discipline. And discipline, you master it in little ways. Little ways. Little ways. Little ways. Number three. Devotion to duty. Are you aware that Joseph, when he was in Potiphar's house, he worked very hard. He worked very hard. His master put everything in his hands. He worked very hard that even after he was kicked out of Potiphar's house and was wrongly accused and put in prison, in the prison, he worked so hard, he was made prison prefect. God prepares you for
for where you are going. Many people are not able to arrive at where they have seen because they have not passed their test of preparation. So as long as you haven't passed, you remain there. It's like being in the class or you're, you're at SSS and you have to pass your entrance to go to the university. If you don't pass it, you remain. Your last qualification will be SSS. Are we in the house? Are we in the house? Are we in the house? He devoted himself to work. Whatever you do, give yourself wholly to it. You are training yourself for the top. If you are polishing shoes, polishing, polish shoes like Beethoven will handle music. And for those of us who serve in church, if you are serving in church, it's an opportunity to help you to learn what is called devotion to duty, practice, praying, preparing. You are learning it tomorrow to get to there. When I was here in Accra, I was doing everything. Anything you give me, anybody who knows me, I say, I humbly say this, anybody who knew me in those days will tell you that there is nothing you give to me that I will do you half heartedly. No. If it's arranging of chairs, I could arrange chairs and I will stand and I'll look. I says one, two, three, four, it's not straight. I'll walk there and I'll straighten it. Sweep and nothing must be on the floor. I did all of this. Just I didn't know why I was doing. Now I understand that God was taking me somewhere. I devoted my whole being. I had opportunity of working in the office when I was in school. When I finished, I did my national service. I gave my everything. When I was working in the office after national service, I would get to work at 7 a.m. There's nobody at work. Later did I know that God was preparing me for a big assignment in America. So those who are praying, I want to be great. It doesn't happen overnight. It is a process. And you must trust the process. It starts with perception. It continues with persecution. And then preparation. And after you pass all of that, then Pharaoh will have a dream. <laughs> then you will interpret the dream. Then you will come and stand before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh will say, Now I have become like the voice of God. The vision you saw 13 years ago. The dream you had 13 years ago. Now I declare that it has come to pass. Everyone who sees you must bow. Amen. Greatness is beckoning. Greatness is knocking on your door. Greatness is telling you, come, come. By the process, perception, persecution, preparation, you enter your palace. God bless you. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven. in life lift up your two hands and I want you to sing this song after that we are going to pray I said in this conference God will speak to you I believe that God has begun speaking to you already tonight God is already telling you where you will be what you become I want to give you about 10 minutes to pray lift up your two hands oh Lord let's
father, my father. Let me hear everybody say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. My father, my lord. My father, my lord. You have spoken. You have spoken. That greatness is my portion. That greatness is my portion. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. As I clap my as hands. As I clap my hands. As I raise my voice. As I raise my voice. Oh God. Oh God. Get me there. Yes. Take me there. 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 Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. I want people who know they are going somewhere. Right now. People who believe they are going who somewhere. Believe they are going somewhere. If you can see it. If you can see it. Stop praying. You are praying. Stop praying. Stop praying. Stop praying. Stop praying. What do you see? 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 Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Young man. Young man. Young woman. Young woman. Young businessman. Yes. Young businesswoman. Businesswoman. Young banker. Yes. Young politician. Young politician. Young consultant. Young consultant. Can you pray? Pray. Can you pray? Can you pray? Man of God. Man of God. Pray. 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 Woman of God. Woman of God. Pray. Pray. Yaba. 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 Wherever you are, clap your hands and lift up your voice. And we are declaring a prayer right now. Let God cause you yeah, 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 to be there. You are seeing pray, pray, pray. You are seeing Something is happening. Something is happening. The Lord will wipe the your tears. The Lord will wipe 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 your tears. The Lord will get the Lord will get Yes. Ya 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 Business will flourish. Will flourish. You will graduate. You will graduate. You shall become you great. Shall become great. I pray, pray, pray. Rakapa, 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 rakapa,
happening. Lord, your eyes, something is happening. The power is here. The power is here. The glory is here. The oil is here. The anointing is moving. The power is moving. The power is moving. Yes, 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 yes. Receive your passion. on your head and receive the anointing to sit on the second chariot by the count of three the oil is coming one uh -huh. anointing for the second chariot uh -huh. two Jesus yeah. uh -huh. that's it that's it that is it that is it Kabaka to Sibria Rokotobi and Shakandi Azunde Brianda Katakataka Lebriande, anointing for the second chariot. Three, take it all over this place. Take yes. it. 
from the front to the back in the name Take of Jesus. It. Yes. Receive the oil. Receive it. The Lord said, I change your seat. Yes. I change your seat. Yes. I change your seat. I receive it. I change your seat. I receive it. I change your seat. I receive it. Second chariot. Yes. You will take it. Yes. Promotion. Yes. Shall be your portion. I receive it. When you write the exam, yes. you will pass. I receive it. You pass. I receive it. You pass. I receive you pass. it. I receive you Jesus. The Lord is setting you apart in the name of Jesus. The Lord is setting you apart in the name of Jesus. The Lord is setting you apart by fire. The Lord is setting you apart by fire. The Lord is setting you apart by fire. Jesus, yes, bring me that lady. Kaya yama shuta yakata. Labrande suaya. This is your season. Yes. This is your time. Yes. Whether they like it or not. Come on. By fire. By the blood, you are coming out of the hole. Now you are coming out of obscurity. Now you are coming out. Come out by the blood. Come out by the blood. Lose a letter go. Jesus. Lose a letter go. Jesus. Leave it. Jesus. Jesus. Fire cutter. Give me that one. Cindy Bianca Bakataya. Rabakate. I see them standing in front of you in the name of Jesus and I see them resisting you yes and I see them pushing you back Come on. but I say at the Lord today because you are in the camp yes he said throughout this camp Jesus I will work on you in the name and of by Jesus by the time you get back the witchcraft manipulation shall be over over yes over yes over now over now Live it. now Lift up. Come back at Agosi Aya Brada Bay. Bayande Suka Tabayande. Rabba Kaba. Lubriande. Jesus. You will wear that crown. You will wear it. You will wear it. You will wear it. Jesus. Brandalebo Sataya. Akanimiande. I can be and day. Soon day, I am. I'm seeing any time you wear that shoe, they remove the shoe. Come on. Any time you wear it, come on. To step on that path, come on. They remove it. Come on. But I say at the Lord, Jesus. I cut off their hands. Yes. I cut them off. Cut off. I cut them off. Cut off. You are lying. You will live it. Cut off. 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 You will go by the covenant in the blood. In the name of Jesus, yes. Lose a letter, go. Lose. Lose a letter, go. Now. Lose a letter, go. Yes. Scamba, gata, luba, scande, raba, fire. Somebody say fire, fire. 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 Yes, yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Lift up your right hand wherever you are. Let the power of God visit you. We see it's coming. We see it's coming. I 
anoint you for your seat. I anoint you for your seat. I anoint you. rise up. Can you go prophesy to three people and say, nobody can stop you from stepping into your glory? <laughs> prophesy again. Prophesy again. Go to a fourth person. Go to a fourth person. Go to number five. Tell somebody, nobody can stop you from entering into your glory. Jesus. Who is this person that I am talking to tonight? I am the one. Who is this son of Apostle General Rising? I am the one. Who is this daughter of Mama Rita about to take their place? I am the one. Can you run and shout and say, I am the one? I am the one. Clap your hands and shout and say, I am the one. I am the one. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You don't let the matter for your head, oh. See, 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 see. Here, 
that's my vision for this conference in this conference I am going to pour out myself because the Lord said for the next seven years Jesus I must raise captains of industry I am the one for the next seven years Jesus I must raise new apostle generals I am the one for the next seven years Jesus I must raise bank managers I am the one MPs, I am the one. Ministers of state, we're receiving. For the next seven years, Jesus, I must introduce to Royal House Chapel, Jesus, the wife of the vice president, I am the one. Of the Republic of Ghana, I am the one. Who is a deacon of Royal House Chapel, Jesus. My time is short and my time is limited. Come on now. And I don't want any stupidity and foolishness on your part. Fire. If the cause of your father's house and your mother's house fire have sent you to come and impede my anointing, we fire them. May my anointing break through for you. Fire. Let my covenant break through for you. Yes. Wherever they have placed you in darkness, I am coming clap out. Clap your hands and say, I am coming out. I am coming out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I see yeah, the anointing yeah, yeah, yeah. over there. I see you over there. Jesus. And the spirit that followed you from your father's house. Right. Clap your hands and say, Return. Return. I didn't hear you. I was somebody from the back. Return. 28 people from the back. Return. I see the oil falling upon you. Yes. You will do greater exploits. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You will be better than those who have gone ahead I of you. It. Go to someone and say, See the way, see the way you, love you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my mantle for your head, oh. Come on. Jesus. See the way you love me. I can see you standing there. See the way you care for me. I am shocked that you are standing there. I am a My time is limited. I don't have time at all. You must rise up. You must prosper. You must succeed. You must become great. Jesus. Like a little baby, you watch over me. You are the guy.
you here, number one, to release the power for you to believe. I receive it. To believe in yourself. Come on. And to believe in the vision. Amen. And to believe in the God that you are following. Hallelujah. That God will never fail you. Amen. Clap your hands and say, receive power. Receive power. To believe. To believe. If you have never believed tonight, check the man who preached for you today. Once upon a time, he was standing where you were standing. He was an usher. I took him to university. He did his national service in Royal House Chapel office. He was in charge of the payment of scholarship school fees. Where you go from school to school paying the fees. Because we didn't want to be putting the money in the hands of students and parents. They will go and chop our money. So this young man went from school to school paying school fees. I took his son to British High Commission and I took his first visa for him. I took him to London. Then took him to America. Today, he's a mega successful, prosperous Come on now. man of God Hallelujah. in the fraternity of Royal House Glory. If you don't believe anything, believe this product Yes. and know that you are the next in line. I receive it. Hey. These people rejected me. The Lord said, you are the next in line. I receive it. Can I come back to you? Yes. Clap your hands and say, I am the next. I am the next. In line. In line. The same anointing. The same anointing. The same oil. The same oil. The same God. The same God. The same power. The same power. Can change me. Can change me. I receive. I receive. The power. The power. To believe. To believe. I receive. I receive. The power. The power. To become. To become. I will. I will. Move. Become. Become. Run and give the Lord a Run. shout. tonight yes can I make a holy covenant yes and I seal this covenant in the name and in the blood of Jesus amen I am not satisfied at raising only Reverend Yima Jesus I want to raise 2,000 men of God and I will say that everyone under the sound of my voice hallelujah who has come to Shiloh come on. receive the anointing to believe I receive it receive the anointing for transformation I receive it receive the anointing for power I receive it I receive the anointing to become I receive it you will become what your parents did not become amen you will become and successful where others feel. I receive it clap your hands and shout I receive it I receive it let the devil hear you again I receive it shout it I receive it. Say amen. Amen. But we are not only here to prophesy to you. We are also here to teach you.
does not roast what he took in hunting. But diligence is a man's precious possession. Now let's go back to the text. Let's go back to verse 24. NLT. Ready? Go. Work hard and become a leader. Be lazy. Let me confess to you. I have other pastors who are lazy and they are struggling. Trust me. But as I said tonight, tonight I am not rejoicing over those who came to deliver those who are struggling that you become a living testimony. Amen. Those of you who are not clapping, I don't know who, who, where you are coming from. more angry with verse 27 new living translation I want to get you more angry living translation verse 27 I want to get you more angry we are here to prophesy but we are here to teach you principles ready go lazy people don't even cook the game they catch but the diligent make use of everything they find When you don't have the principles, even when gold is put in your hands, you lose them. When money is put in your hand, you lose them. But those who are wise, diligent, godly, devoted, anything they find to do is a success. follows you. Three ways. Number one, by a curse. By a curse. When there's a curse in your bloodline and you came to meet poverty, you accept the status quo because that's what you are used to. You are born into a compound house where 18 people are using one toilet facility. That's what you are used to. When you come to a camp like this and you see Mama Rita giving you beautiful toilets, you mess the toilet up because where you are coming from, every time the toilet is smelling. But when you enter into our toilet, I've just been there, you will notice that it is different because the woman here has a different mentality. Number one, curse. Clap your hands and say, I break every curse. I break every curse. Number two, where failure comes from? Failure comes from the environment where you were brought up. Where you were brought up. The family setting in which you were brought up. If there was nobody who got wedded over there, you are not inspired for wedding. Because you came to meet every woman married by one bottle of schnapp at petition. You come from an environment where everybody is dirty, so you are dirty. You come from an environment where everybody lives in a compound house, so that's what you desire. I was born into an environment of a compound house, but somewhere, somehow, when the Lord opened my eyes, I said, I don't belong here. Yes. And I checked out of that environment. Yes. Clap your hands and scream in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every undesirable environment. Any undesirable environment. I am coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I am coming out. Now. Now. In the name. In the name. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Clap your hands and say, every curse. Every curse. Break. Break. By fire. By fire. Shout yes. Yes. The third source of failure is your association. It's your association. When you work with people who are going nowhere, you go nowhere. That is why I, I got something from Alajo. 
and I checked him into a new environment of a new language. So when he came, he began to hear a young man speaking a new language. A young man talking about a better future. A young man speaking better things than the environment of Alajo. And it has come to pass. I met a youth and I prophesied and I said to him, he will not, he's a village boy, but I'll make him a city hero. Amen. The environment where Kofi Walanyo Agbo came from, everybody drinks Akpateshi. When he went to Nigeria, he started drinking Akpateshi. But when he met Apostle General and he met his language, his destiny changed. Church. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Clap your hands and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I refuse. I refuse. To associate. To associate. With lazy people. To lazy people. I refuse. I refuse. To associate. To associate. With people. With people. Who are going nowhere. Who are going nowhere. As I clap my hands. As I clap my hands. And I put my foot and down. And I put my foot down. I declare. I declare. And a spirit. And a spirit. Of failure. Of failure. Following me. Following me. From environment. From environment. Through association. Through association. Through any case. Yes. I separate. I separate. I pray. I pray. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Child of God. Child of God. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your voice. Rebuke that spirit. Rebuke that spirit. And tell yourself. And tell yourself. You are a new family. You are moving forward. You are in a new covenant. You are in a new covenant. A new altar. A new altar. A new family. A new family. A new environment. A new environment. 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 Of success. Of success. And pray through. And pray through. Pray. Pray. Lift up your voice. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We are invoking prayer tonight. Let the power of the blood begin to disassociate you from any company of good people who are going nowhere. You find yourself in the company of witches. You find yourself in the company of failures. But today by your prayer, your men and your women, we are breaking that association. You are breaking out. You are losing yourself. And the case that has kept you bound in one place, I declare tonight by the church is in prayer. We are in warfare. We are in warfare. Child of God, Child of God. Lift, up your voice. lift up your voice. Raise the temple. Raise the judgment. It is destiny. It is destiny. 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 It is life and death. It is time. If you joke with the devil, yes. the devil will keep you. The devil will kill you. Where you are. Where you are. Break through. Break through. Say, I free myself. I free myself. I release myself. I release my soul. I release myself. I release my soul. From every bondage. From every bondage. Pray. Pray. Lift your voice. Pray. Begin to break out and begin to break free. From every bondage in the name of Jesus, by your prayer, you are breaking out, you are breaking loose. I see you bound in this area. Lift up your voice. Are you praying tonight? We are praying tonight. Your eyes are not red. I cannot feel it. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Let me make you sad again. Let me make you sad. Anytime God uses a father to make and to raise a standard for you, the revelation is that God expects you to exceed the standard of your father. Come on. So, I know as for your biological father and your mothers and your uncles and your aunties by the grace of God this new anointing and this new covenant Jesus. will make you greater than them. Come on! Hey. Clap your hands and shout I receive it! I receive it! And now here is a challenge. 
Here's the challenge. You now must become greater than Apostle General. I receive that it. That is the tall order. Come on. But it is possible. Possible. Because that is the will and the counsel of God. Jesus. You see, only few people are clapping. Those who are clapping, Come on. you can see what is coming. Come on. Those who are clapping, you can see what is coming. Jesus. Can I let you know, Bogus? Can I let you know? Bringing Israel out of Egypt by Moses was much easier. Taking Israel to the land of promise to fight the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Jebusites, and to make it a permanent inheritance was a tall order. Coming out of Egypt was easy. Settling down in the inheritance is the challenge. Why will you come to a camp like this knowing the challenge that is in front of you to become greater than apostle general and you are coming here to sleep to come and fool around first night is over we are left to tomorrow Saturday, Sunday and you must catch some anointing before you leave here come on you must receive some principles before you leave here Jesus you must receive some impartation before you leave here. Yes. I want to see some dedication and devotion and character and discipline before you leave here. Yes, daddy. God only used me to set the standard for you. Now in your generation, you must break the record. Professor to some of the three people around you and say, receive the anointing to break the record. Receive the anointing to break the record. They tell someone, receive the anointing to be a, a record breaker. Tell someone, receive the anointing to break records. Professor to somebody say, you break your father's record. You break your father's record. You break your mother's record. You break your mother's record. All your uncles and your aunties. All your uncles and your aunties. Combine. Combine. You break their record. You break their record. Say, so you break the record. You break the record. Of the most successful person. Of the most successful person. In your family. In your family. Receive somebody high five and say, break the record. Break the record. Break the, say, receive the anointing to break record. Receive the anointing to break record. Tell somebody, receive the anointing for a record breaker. Receive the anointing for a record somebody breaker. Somebody say, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive I walk with God the Father, walk with God the Son, walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in go. I know they walk alone. I just standing there. I just standing there. Come on. I walk with God the Father. I walk with God the Son. I walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in go. I know they walk alone. Hey. I know they walk alone. Say it again. I walk with God the Father. I walk with God the Father. Walk with God the Son. I walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in go. Son, what 
all those on my right hand I give you the anointing to be bigger than your fathers we receive it. those on my left hand side because you don't know why you are here Jesus. may you remain where you are yeah. 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 As a message to the enemies. Come on. So look for somebody and say, when you see the enemy, when tell you them I know they walk alone. Come Are on. you ready? I walk with God, God the, the Father. Father. Walk with God the Son. Walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back to you. Get somebody. I know they walk alone. Your situation is about to change. Come on. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. You run to the altar with your sacrifice. I walk with God the Father. Walk with God the Son. Walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in blue. Run to the altar. I know they walk alone. Run to the altar. When you see the angel descend, know that your miracle is here. Your deliverance has come. Your breakthrough has come.
people are get back in. Tell somebody to get back in. I get back Somebody in. say get back in. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Come on! I get back in. Oh. in Jamaica. Let's honor the instrument and the agent of growth and change. The Apostle Emmanuel Agomeda. Come on, let's honor. Three churches now, we are sitting 21. And I give God the glory and God the praise. And all these 21 are thriving churches. At least there are five of them who own their own property. Come on, let's give God a mighty praise here. When you are 